welcome this is the energy vibration lesson for the Sun moon and rising cancers I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is going to be a week of a lot of um, wonderful things um, this is the energy the week the third week of August 2017 I want to say thank you for your support your likes and share please remember to thumbs up like and share these videos um, whatever the situation is this week is the energy of the fire full fire it is the energy of the tower um, in this week and the energy of the tower is bringing the zodiac energy of fire along with it so there's a lot of um, situation that is going to happen that things are going to be leaving your life and this is going to be good whatever the situation is you have the energy vibration of the hermit that is going to help you the hermit connects with your spirit guides the angels and guide and the dude whoever that is so this deck that I'm using is the deck of the the orbits the deck of the orbits the deck of the orbits okay so whatever is happening you have the hermit here that is going to be guiding you because you're really a spiritual sign you can says whatever is happening the uh, the um, hermit is here so as I look at your week and I had my glasses on because of the lightning as I look at your week you have you begin a week with a six of coins the six of coins this can be that you are giving someone something you're sharing someone with uh, something with someone and someone is sharing with you it's as if you have found something you're sharing you're giving little um, help to people for some people so whatever the situation is it's going to be um, a positive because giving and receiving is balancing out your energies on Tuesday you have the five of sword whatever the situation is with a five of swords on Tuesday you have conflicts with other people it's a sword energy you're a water sign so there is going to be conflict and that's why the energy of the hermit comes up to help you in this week so call upon your guides and your angels as we look forward the crowning of your week you have the energy of the knight of swords whatever the energy of the knight of sword is this is people who is of um, the Aries the Librans and the Gemini's okay you have a, a situation with the Aries the Leo's and the Gemini's in this week it can be the men or the women these are people between the ages of uh, 18 and 35 so be aware of that that is what is crowned in your week as we look at Thursday we have the energy vibration of the four of cups the four of cups is that you're looking back at things you're looking back at things your journey um, to where you are at now you're looking at the things that has happened your journey to where you are at so you know that it's going to be Thursday uh, and and there's something about Thursday in this week because it's a week where Thursday where all different sort of a things is happening so you are looking back the four of cups you're looking back at situation that has happened and you're trying to plan something uh, forward on Friday it's going to be wonderful because you guys are the first people to get the energy vibration of the world in this deck is the first time I'm using this deck again it's the deck of the um, orbits and um, whatever is happening is the first time you're using this deck and whatever is happening is that the energy of the world comes out in this deck whatever this is the first time for you guys so this is good as we move forward on Saturday you have another six of uh, sword yeah the six of swords so whatever the situation is it's coming to an end um on saturday so whatever situation that you were going you were you you, you know whatever conflicts there was uh, um it's coming to an end okay whatever conflicts there was it's coming to an end on sunday you have the seven of coins which is an earth energy that is coming in to balance you and this is going to be good so whatever situation that was playing out in your life let's look further to see what is going to happen in this week for you guys um, this is going to be positive um, for you cancers for the third week of August let's see what other messages are there for the cancers third week of August whatever messages are there for the cancers third week of August whatever message are there for the cancers third week of August so okay it's not that bad the six of pen to six of coins on Monday what is happening with the six of coins whenever the energy of the six of coins comes up is that you're going to do something for people or people are going to do things for you so it's the exchange of energies of giving and receiving okay and who is going to do that is the 
the queen of wands the queen of wands. so whatever is happening is that with you cancers the queen of wands are going to have this exchange of gifts you can either give in her something or she can either be giving you something so you know this is a fire sign person the queen of wands. so whatever it is you're really you're exchanging gifts of giving and taking between this person it can be also the energy of a man that is coming up okay on Tuesday we have the number five energy of the sword it is an hair is a look doc is conflict conflicts and you have the seven of cups so whatever this conflicts is you it brings you to a place that you are sitting down thinking and hoping and wishing to release yourself of whatever the situation is and dreaming of much better things and sometimes it's good to have time to sit and dream especially when conflicts is going around you it's better to stand back and dream and hope I ask your angels and guide and wish to come out of whatever the conflicting situation that are going on in your life okay in the middle of the week as I said the knight of swords is here that is the energy vibration of the Aquarians the um, Libra and the Gemini's um, they're between the ages of 18 and 35 so whatever the situation is you have the energy of the sword also so you have the knight of swords and you have the page of swords now this little page come in to make a lot of um, conflict things because there's already conflicts going around you so be aware of whoever these um these um sword people are because they're coming in to um make conflicts in your life so be aware because you are getting them from zero until 18 and from 18 until 35 so whoever you are be aware look around and to see who are these people from zero as a baby you know <laughs> a baby's not going to do anything you know but from 0 until 18 and from 18 until 35 these people are going to be in your week so they are going to affect you in your week so be aware of these people they are the Aquarians the Gemini's and the Libra okay their focus you know the page is always the one who is mischievous who is listening to your conversation who is carrying that news and that sort of a thing so be aware of who are these people because they're uh, it, the whole week they're, they're, they they govern your week they crowned your week be aware on Thursday you're you know looking back at how far you you have come to and you, you know Thursday is a day whatever is happening in this week Thursday is going to be play a significant role in a lot of people lives a lot of loss is going to happen in Thursday a lot of people looking back at how far they have come and you need to have balance okay so you're looking back at things that you have done that you have could have done much better or things that you should have choose another way to do it and this sort of a thing but you have already done it it's already done you have learned your lesson you're moving on so have temperance you know love yourself you know understand that you am just doing the best that you can at this time on Friday we have the energy of the world congratulations whatever the situation was because it has been a week of conflicts has we been a week of conflicts whatever the situation is you have the energy vibration of the world and a celebration on Friday okay so whatever you are happy that whatever the conflicts and all that situation was and looking back at what you have done you are ending the the, the week uh, um, the work week with um, you know a celebration the celebration is good that it is ended it's not a celebration that you have won but it's a celebration that you have ended so a situation has finally come to an end and you're celebrating it okay so it can be that you have done something that was unjust to other people and there's a whole lot of conflicts and the rest of it and finally it has ended because it has been something that has been going on in your life and that's why you have the energy of the hermit to call upon the hermit and your uh, your spirit guides this is the back of the card I, it's so beautiful i love this deck whatever is happening you know it's um it's happening and whatever um that is there you need to understand that this is the end of whatever situation that is there as we move forward on Saturday we have the six of a sword so whatever that was happening is really come to an end and you're you're so glad that this has finally ended and you have the energy vibration of uh, the death transformation so this finally whatever that was playing in your life is finally ended so a transformation is going to come in on Saturday 
and Sunday we have the energy vibration of the seven of coins the seven of coins is that you're trying to you know get money together you're trying to gather and you have the king of ones the king of ones so you're trying to you know like scrape up all that you have um, you're trying to you know really go out so whatever the situation is um, you're having a situation with a king of uh, ones this could be people who are trying to get their rent together work or trying to get whatever money together to give this king of ones but whatever is happening for some people this king of ones is going to come in and help you with your financial situation whoever this king of ones is uh, um, this is someone who is a, a Leo uh, a Aries or a Sagittarius and going to come in to help you with your situation whatever it is so, so be aware that on Sunday whatever is going on with your financial situation this king of wands is going to come in or I he, he's gonna come in and ask you for money he's gonna come in he or she is gonna come in and ask you for money be aware of what you do okay um, be aware of what you do um, if you don't have it don't give it if you don't have it don't give it whatever is happening okay I'm going back here because I see the queen of wands and the king of wands so Obviously, you cancers have to deal with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Some is that um, this King of Pentacles need to pay back you cancers. There is going to be a situation that is going to come in on such Sunday, and you are telling this King of Pentacles that you need to pay me back my money, whatever it is. This Queen of Pentacles is the same thing um, because. The six of coins comes up with this queen of pentacles too. So whoever these Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius persons are in your life or uh, that is going to connect with you, you need to know because it has something to do with money with these people. It has something to do with money with these people. So you have the queen and the king of pentacles and there is a situation that has to do with money. And it's like you have to be scraping money. They are going to be borrowing money from you. That sort of a situation, you know. So whatever is happening with these uh, um, king and queen because they're, they are in your reading. The king and queens of, 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 of um, uh, the, the Aries, the Leos, and the Sagittarius are in your reading. If you are someone who has these two persons, these people as your parents, there is going to be a money situation that is going to come up. Whatever the conflict was, is going to come to an end. There is someone who is bringing news. There is someone that is bringing whatever news to these um, people and you have to be aware and there is going to be a death and transformation whatever is happening okay so you need to be aware of whatever is happening okay um, the first half of the week you have to deal with uh, um, the Queen of Pentacles there's going to be a transformation whatever the situation is there is going to be a transformation it's going to have to do with you know, it's an exchanging of gifts. There's going to be a transformation, whatever the situation is. There is going to be conflicts about money. And you're dreaming of just to get out of whatever situation you have with these people. The second half of the week is that um, whatever the situation is, you're looking back and you're thinking, you know, I wish I didn't have to do this or whatever. But you're going to get out of the situation. So don't um, worry about the situation. It's going to be okay. Whatever is happening, you're going to be victorious. It, 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 this situation is going to end and you're going to be happy and you're going to move forward with whatever is happening in your life. Uh, let's look and see. Let's look and see what is going to be your throat chakra. Whatever it is, speak the truth. So you can says whatever it is, speak the truth. Speak the truth. Ask Archangel Michael to help you. Ask the energies, the Blu-ray energies to help you to touch, open, and activate your throat chakra and ask them to, uh, to help you so that you can speak the truth in whatever situation you can says have with these fire sign people because their energies are coming in so strong. Whatever is happening, you have situation to do with the Leos and um, the Aries and the Sagittarians uh, but whatever it is you're going to there is going to be you know you're dreaming and hoping in the middle of the first half of the week that things was better okay we're asking the Oracle of the E what message is there for you cancers bye
baggage gone baggage be gone baggage be gone so this is good Wow whoever this person or his people were baggage be gone so you are saying you're a baggage baggage be gone coma now aren't you tired of being stepped stepped over from all the emotional baggages the thing is it is all happening yesterday this is now and with all the flick of your powerful energy fingers, you can send that old um, being baggage overload that you have been carrying into the in, in, into the sink. It is higher time to free yourself. Let go, my friend. This is good. This is good for you, Cancers. You need to hear this. You need to let go of the baggages that you have been carrying. You cancers have been holding on to so many things in your life. Whatever the situation is with these fire sign people, these Aries, these Leon, these Sagittarius, you need to let it go. Whatever the situation is, you have been looking back. You have been having conflicts and you're open and wishing that you can just release and come out. It's going to happen because the world on Friday bring an end to the situation. Whatever is happening, there is going to be a transformation but you yourself need to let go of this say baggage be gone you need to release yourself of this emotional thing baggage be gone you need to release yourself of whatever that has been happening and I'm asking the angels and guide whatever questions ask your question now so that you can receive your answer whatever questions you would like to be answered ask your question now uh, so that you can receive your answers whatever energies whatever situations I'm asking the angels um, to give the answers to the cancers for this week third week of August in the future in the near future in the near future so this is wonderful so whatever is happening to you cancers in the near future whatever you're asking for is going to happen so if you're asking to release yourself of the emotional um, baggages that you have been carrying within in the near future this is going to happen whatever you're asking for in the near future this is going to happen what you're asking about will occur very soon so you won't have to wait much longer stay optimistic and continue upon your current part be open to receive okay so sometimes we ask for things and we're not open to receive so by releasing your baggages and connecting with your angels and guides speaking your truth in the future whatever you're asking for will occur very soon you won't have to wait much longer stay optimistic and continue upon your current part be open to receive so this is a wonderful wonderful message for you guys so here we are let's look and see what is going to be your focus of this week we have bar baggage first we have uh, speak the truth then we have baggage then we have whatever your accent for is coming up within the near future talk to your guiding angels and your spirit guide the internet intergalactic beings are being here now and they are um, accessible to and call upon these beams uh, speak your truth uh, release yourself of the baggage and whatever you're asking for uh, within the near future it's going to happen congratulations congratulations ladies and gentlemen okay please remember to like shares and thumbs up and like these videos and go back and listen to your monthly reading of August listen to your Sun moon and rising sign this month of August we have five weeks so it's gonna be a long week so try and listen to the energy vibration and then you will see what to expect whatever you're asking for within the near future is going to happen so you can see within four weeks when it, this card comes up it's going to be happening so I want to say thank you for being here thumbs up like the and share these videos till the next week